at this time, please join me in welcoming Congressman Mulvaney to Berkeley County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to um, talk about something that we don't talk about much in the Republican Party, which is fruit. I would like to talk about fruit. Um, because I got a piece of fruit on my desk about a year ago. An unusual piece of fruit, not something you ordinarily get from South Carolina. We get peaches on our desk all the time. Um, sometimes you get other stuff from around the country. But about a year ago, um, I got a piece of fruit on my desk. It was a cantaloupe. Um, does anybody know why the cantaloupe was on my desk? Trey Gowdy um, is the chairman of the Immigration Subcommittee uh, and the Judiciary Committee and was trying to have a discussion about folks who are here illegally. And Trey said, well, you know, I've actually met a couple of folks who've been here a long time, have gone through school and are the valedictorians of their classes, and was interrupted by another member of my party who said, Trey, you know, that's exactly right, but for every one of those who is a valedictorian in their party, there are a hundred of them with calves the size of cantaloupes carrying 75-pound bags of marijuana across the southwestern border. And certainly, uh, we can talk later on about what a tr tremendous threat the, um, the southwestern border is right now. But I want you to think about the message and the way that message was conveyed by that member of Congress. Calves the size of cantaloupes carrying bags of marijuana across the border. The next day, I had a cantaloupe on my desk, um, and it was brought there um, by a group who were upset by what that Republican member of Congress said. Every single Republican member of Congress got a cantaloupe on their desk within 24 hours. Think about how angry we had made somebody do that with that statement. Think about whether or not that person is ever, ever going to consider voting for a Republican candidate ever again. At some point, we're going to have to figure out that if you take the entire African American community and, and write them off, take the entire Hispanic community and write them off, take the entire libertarian community and write them off, take the entire gay community and write them off, what's left? About 38% of the country. You cannot win with 38% of the country. We need to stop celebrating the absurd in our party and stop rewarding the outrageous and the stupid. We have to figure out how to deal with it as a party. We're losing too many elections. We're writing off too many people. Um, I'll give you one last number. Mitt Romney won Texas by 900,000 votes. Pretty good. There are three million Hispanic people in Texas who will be able to register to vote before the next election, 2016. Three million new Hispanic voters who are not eligible to vote in 2012, but will be eligible to vote in 2016. If the next Republican candidate for president gets the same percentage of the Hispanic vote that Mitt Romney got, we will lose Texas, not in 2024, not in 2020, but in 2016. And if we lose Texas, folks, I got news for you. We're never going to elect a Republican president again.